I heard the bad news, Emmett. Your buddy Oakley's going to live. He's not my buddy. All that crap about people facing up to their demons. <laughs> when it came to him, he, he couldn't manage it. And you, you groveled around him like a dog. I got it wrong. I told you he was a crook, but you wouldn't listen. Too busy lapping up the attention. Big man with your suits and your opinions. Maybe you won't be wearing no designer gear in the joy, pal. Is he giving you grief? Nothing I didn't deserve. I don't want to hear you saying that. Anyone brings up the subject, he had you brainwashed. I knew what I was doing. But you can't say that. Not if you want the judge to show leniency in court. You can bet that's what Oakley was up to with his debt wish. You don't know that. He's capable of anything. I mean, that's for sure. Maybe he finally felt remorse for what he'd done. Look, let's forget about him. Emmett's our concern now. We need to make sure you have the best possible chance in the court case. Which is why we need Miriam on side. No, I'm not kowtowing to her. Just be civil. I will if she is. As you know, Renee has done me the honor of agreeing to be my wife. Ah. Yes, we do, and you're a very lucky man, isn't it? <laughs> so, we're having a few drinks this evening, just to celebrate. Oh, lovely. Farah's arriving home today. Now, she doesn't know anything about it. I wanted to tell her myself. Well, that's so exciting, Renee. So, can we count you both in? Yes, yes, we would both love to come. Now, listen, I don't know if I'll be able to get a sitter. Ah, uh, try good. your best. Yes, I will. See you later. See you later. See you, See you Bob. Bye. Bye. Yes. Good afternoon, huh? I know. I'm not really in the mood order for celebrating romance. Okay, well then why don't we celebrate your birthday instead? Okay, meal, drinks, dancing. No, I just want a quiet night in with Jack, all right? Okay, well then I'll call Ransom. What? And look at this miserable mug. Yes, I've had. Carl, are you in this afternoon? I have a parcel arriving. Yeah. Sure. Okay, great. Listen, mm -hmm. clear Jack's stuff up off the bathroom floor, will you? I only broke my neck this morning. Sorry. Right. Carol, stay with you. Yeah. Robbie was carrying on with Carol's mother, Aoife. Man cheating. There's a surprise now. Can you just throw the change in the box? Oh, thanks. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, yeah. Hey. Hi just there. Please. Oh, right. Thank you. Have you seen Kevin today? No. Very uncool what you did just came out. No, he's out, whether he likes it or not. What day is it today? Day? No, look, date. I think the supplier's out to double charge him. The fourth. How'd you get him to give you a refund? <sighs> it's Carol's birthday. Nearly out to forget him. I'll go into town and get her something special. You want her back? Here's a way in. Well, it was this bracelet she had her eye on. What are you waiting for? Right, thanks. I've spoken to Karen. Why? She had no right. She kind of did. You okay with it? Yeah, it happened. Oh, hiya. Here it is. Did you look at my text? The engagement drinks? Yeah, sure. I'd love to go. Uh, oh, who's got him married? Myself and Bob. So romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'd love to come. Hey, maybe wait to get invited first. You're welcome. So long as you remember, I am the star attraction. Of course. <laughs> oh, you heard about Karen? What of it? So public. Well, she said he was gay, not a mass murderer. Hmm. I think it was rude. See you later. See ya. Uh, for the record, I'm not exactly sure where I'm at. You don't need to explain yourself to me or to anyone else. Goodbye. See ya. Thank you. Hey! Ah, you're back! <laughs> yeah, just off the plane. Did you have a good time? Oh, it was great. I got to see Heather and Ellie and Hugo. Oh. Six foot Brazilian muscle, 28 years old, face of a god. Oh, Hugo. I boy, could he go. I don't think I saw daylight for a week after I met him. <laughs> So, any goss? Did Renee not tell you about Kevin? What about him? His secret. Don't tell me. He's a robot. He's gay. Our Kevin? He never hinted to you? No. Are you okay? I have no choice. My mom told me about Dan being your dad and the rest of the stuff that happened. I don't really want to talk about it, if you don't mind. Sure, just my sympathies. 
I'm just focusing on moving on to happier times. Like my boyfriend coming out. I didn't get any vibe. I can really pick them. Here, you're talking to the queen of relationship disasters here. Kieran. Look, I know it's not funny, but it puts you and Kevin into a hateful place. <laughs> Plus Emmett. At the same time as Kieran. Look, in my defence, I was pretty shell-shocked, but... So look at me now, knocking it into the back of the net with Hugo. <laughs> you find the right one. Sweet. Oh, hey. oh, I missed oh, you. Oh, oh. oh, you look wonderful. That's what a holiday in Brazil will do for you. Do you meet anyone nice? No, sad single to me. You were on your lonesome the whole time. I think I'm past romance. Yeah. Hi, Hi, how are you? <laughs> Great to see you. Welcome it. back. <laughs> Did Renee tell you our news? No, not yet. Uh, yeah, we're getting a budgie. <laughs> what? I know you wanted a parrot, but it's a budgie or nothing. Oh, very well. A budgie? That's your big news? I'm terribly excited about it. I'm going to go and pack. Do you want to get a bite to eat, then? I've loads of photos of Heather and Nelly. They're doing brilliant. Oh, I can't wait. OK, I'll throw this up. See you in a bit. Yeah. Bye. She went the whole time over there without a fella, giving her as much as a glance. And? She says she has given up on romance. We can't flaunt our engagement in our face. We have to cancel tonight. It's just as well I only asked a couple of people, Carol and Orla and, and, and Kevin and Cristiano. Cristiano? Hmm. The news of the world. Oh, you don't think he'll have told other people? Well, the only question, Renee, is how many? <sighs> yes? Hey, this is Carl around. Wait here. Robbie's at the door. I can send him away. I'll let him in. He's in the kitchen. Just no blood on the furniture, please. Happy birthday. I got you a gift. It's the one you admired the day we went into town to get Jack's new shoes. Do you remember? We uh, went down that little laneway off Cable Street and came across this real old school jewelers. feel good, is it? Memories of you and me? Before you betrayed me? Carol, we have a million good memories under our belt. Why all that against one stupid act? Look, all you have to do Give me the word. And we can have everything back. Look, I don't think Farah would care. Well, it's not my decision. Renee wants to postpone the drink, so... Right. It's a pity, though. I had a great surprise set up for her. An announcement in Irish society. It's a monthly publication. I'm told anyone who's anyone is in it. They have a section on engagements and weddings. And I just thought it might be nice to present it to her over the drinks. Yeah, well, you want to make sure Farah doesn't see it. Huh? It's a society magazine. Mm. I think we're on safe territory. Hiya. Oh. I've cancelled Orla and Kevin. Cristiano's out for a run. Well, look, if he comes in, I'll, uh, I'll put him away. Okay, well, I'll go and see Carol. Okay, bye. See ya. Bye. You were uh, talking to Kevin? Did he... Uh, mention his situation. Look, I, I don't care if he's gay or boy or troy or quadruple. I just don't think it's enough for Kara to go shouting his business from the rooftops. He's fine. Maybe I should have a word with him? Mm. In my opinion, he's not open for a father-son chat. We need to know you're going to back Emmett. 100%. Great. A talk is cheap. I want to make up for the harm I've done. It's going to take a lot more than putting a word in. Okay, no aggro, remember? I'll do anything I can. Yeah, how about taking the blame? Ah. She's walking around smelling of roses. Okay, can we just stick with the legal stuff? We've an appointment with a solicitor on Thursday at 11. Can you make that? I'll be there. i better go earn the legal fees. I'd like to help. No. Thanks.
The jury will see how you were manipulated. Do you think so? I'll be putting myself forward as a witness for the defense. Really? Things will get better. Hello? Hello? It's him. Say something, come on. He's gone. What did he say? He's coming to see me. But he's under lock and key. You don't know him like I do. If he's coming for me, it's bad. Hey, look, um, let's go talk to the guards. He's probably just trying to freak you out. Come on. Something for the day that's in it. Oh, thanks. I can't stay. Did Robbie call around? He'd do anything you want. Just say the word. Did you tell you about his checklist? One, he loves me. Two, he has feelings for Aoife. Though I think he changes the order of play depending on who's in the room. That's not what he's saying to me. You're his ma. He's gonna paint whatever picture you want. Isn't that what you were doing? You've been badly burnt in the past. You've decided Robbie is like every other man you fell in with. I never loved any of them the way I love Robbie. That's the real killer. Look, um, I'm free to babysit Jack. You just said you love Robbie. The person destroying this marriage right now is you. His hospital room was searched. We found a mobile phone. But he's still under guard? Absolutely. Yeah, what did I tell you? So how did he get hold of the phone? We're investigating that. He knows plenty of people in the hospital, right down to the cleaning staff. Like I said, we're on it. Yeah, make sure he doesn't get another phone. Miriam was really upset. You have my apologies. Don't worry, you can't hurt me. What's going on? I leave you to fill your family in on the details. Oakley rang Miriam. What? Yeah, he was trying to freak her out. It worked. The hatred in his voice. Excuse me. Keep a mile away from her. We need her on side for the trial. We agreed that. Oakley's targeting her. I'm not having you caught in the crossfire. He's under guard. I don't care. Anyway, it doesn't matter if Miriam speaks up for me or not. I'm still gonna go to prison. You don't know that. And even if you have to, it might only be for a few months. It's gonna be years, Oh. Look, can we just... Can we just stop talking about it? It does me head in. Point? No. I'm gonna go on. We'll invite her over for a bite to eat and break the news. Maybe we should invite her to trauma counselor. Oh, can you please not joke? I think you're making far too much of this. Oh, am I? She is a grown woman. Oh, and you know everything about women. Well, some things, yes, like hysteria. Are you calling me hysteric? Joking. No, you're not. Oh, no, apologies. You couldn't have been more zen if you were hovering over a mat chanting, um... But who's been hysterical now? Perfectly calm. <gasps> It's just as well we cancelled the drinks tonight. I wouldn't want to get emotional and embarrass you. Please, calm oh, down. Oh, would you stop telling me to calm down? Oh, it's great to be back. Unless you two lived up kids. Your mother is a little stressed. Well, we both know how we can fix that. Well, do we? There's the door. <laughs> Are you ordering me out? Oh, give the man a prize. He will try the patience of a saint. What were you arguing about? Nothing. Do you want me to take over? No, she are barely off the plane. Well, how about I get her some cakes from Venus? Chocolate fixes everything. Oh, thanks. She's amazing because all this bad stuff happened to her, but she's just like, okay, that happened, move on. Pretty cool. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna head. Hey. Hi. Hey. Guess who got in touch with me today? Lynchy. No way, are you serious? Yeah. She's organizing drinks for the old brigade tonight. The last time I saw her. 
She was arm wrestling a very sweaty Ken Morton. <laughs> well, he's going to be there too. What do you reckon? You on for it? I can't. It's Carol's birthday. All right. Yeah, I dropped over a gift. Yeah? How'd that go? At least she didn't throw it back at me face. That's progress. Yeah, I'd be nice to get her across the front door again. And into your bed? Sure. <laughs> Hope works out. Listen, say hello to the gang for me, will you? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It was me. I should have been more understanding. I shouldn't have snapped your head off. <laughs> oh, the lovebirds. How sweet. The engagement drinks are off. Oh. We will have a proper do later on, though. And Sarah isn't to know. Uh, about the engagement or the drinks? Both. It's complicated. My lips are sealed. Oh, I'm glad they are, because I would like my intended to be stressed. Oh. I'm perfectly calm. Well, why don't we ask Cristiano? Should Renee take a chill pill or not? You and Bob are engaged? What? It's here in this posh magazine. How could it be? It was supposed to be a surprise. It certainly is. It's amazing. I'm thrilled for both of you. You're getting married, <laughs> man. You don't mind. Oh, no, it's brilliant. Oh, Does Heather know? No, no, not yet. Can I tell her? Oh, go on. This is really exciting. <laughs> oh, she took it great. Why wouldn't she? I think she was a bit lonely in Brazil. Oh, she didn't tell you about Hugo. I don't want to be a gossip. Spill. We were comparing notes, Brazil, Chile. I was saying how Chilean food is far superior. Today would be good. Just like Chilean men. Let's say her nights were never dull, with Hugo to keep her entertained. Hugo. He's stuffed. I'm bringing it down for Bobby. Happy birthday. Jack, go and ask the girl to get a box to bring our cake home, yeah? Are you having a laugh? Sorry, I'm just trying to be friendly. Who told you? Robbie. He was pretty excited about the gift he gave you. Among other things. Well, I told him to make sure he had fresh sheets on the bed. Joking. Just really glad you guys are back together. Mr. Robert Charles Aww. is proud to announce his engagement to Miss Renee Phelan Aww. of Game Over Girls. It does not say that. It's here in black and white. No, that's some mistake. Can I have a look at that? <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the family. How is this? <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, this is very oh, a little bit of class. Thank you. As a listener, are you going to be in one of those featured weddings? Well, you never know. We haven't even discussed a date yet. Come on, Ma, you'd love to be hobnobbing with West Brits. <laughs> oh, yeah, you leave one of those double barrel names like Renee Phelan Charles. Oh, <laughs> that sounds a little naughty. Oh, yeah. 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 oh, I love weddings. Mine was so beautiful. Oh, I'd say it was all tassels and ostrich feathers. If it was up to me, yes. But my <laughs> husband, Leandro, he, he wanted a very simple ceremony and a dinner with our family. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Lovely. So would you do it again? Maybe. I know he wouldn't want me to be lonely. I would love to get married again, you know, except for, for the bump and, and going into labor, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So I would have one of those Kardashian-style weddings, you know, all bling, 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 you know, gold <laughs> wedding cake and, and a cocktail film. Oh. <laughs> we all know Farah's favorite cocktail. What? Sex on the beach. Oh, 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 shame. <laughs> there is one thing I'm a bit disappointed about. The budgie. What? I was trying to stop Bob from giving the news away to Farah. So you used a budgie? As a red herring. Birds, fish, you guys are crazy. <laughs> Let's face it, the only feathered friend I need now is my little dove, Renette. Oh! oh, oh love and marry. Love and marry. Love and marry. Love and marry. Hey, Bob and Renee are celebrating their engagement. Oh, congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thanks very much. Excuse me for a second, I just have to make a quick call. <laughs> Victoria, for your hand in marriage, I'm crossing.
Yeah? Listen, in case you were thinking of calling in for a drink of Renee, Robbie's here. Oh. Yeah, I, I figured you might not want to see him on your birthday. Yeah, thanks. We bring you back your weight in gold. I got an Africa. Hi, Nora. Can I take you up on that offer? Hope you're not doing a runner. That's not funny. There's no point wasting time he has free whinging. It's just some shopping. Wanna go for a game of pool? No, thanks. Look, come in. We'll send out for some pool. Yeah, I just want to spend some time by myself. Okay. All right. Emmett. I'm sorry for falling apart earlier. I'm not usually that way. Um. Emmett! James Oakley has escaped Garda custody. No. Well, you're not serious. He had assistance. Well, why are you looking at me? Where is he? We've reason to believe he's fled the country. Our people are checking ports and airlines. But you don't know for sure. Everything points to him having left the island. His bank accounts have been cleared and we found searches on his phone for airline service in Canada and Japan. You know nothing. I have to get back. I'll be in touch if there's any further developments. He's the devil. Thanks, Jen. Oh. What about you? Yes. Would you like to be a bride again? Oh, no. I've never done that. Regret it every minute of it. Oh. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. We need the marrying kind, Bob. Wow, I can see her at the head of the table at the red wedding. <laughs> it's ugly. Well, what's your wedding wedding? I was talking to Karen today. She's more tough. Spain? I always knew. You did? Yeah. The flamboyant dressing, Judy Garland on your Spotify, your obsessive interest in the Eurovision even when Ireland stopped winning. Yeah, you're funny. I know. Yeah. I had no idea. Hey, you want to talk Brazilian cradle snatching? I hear I could talk about that all night. <laughs> but you should try Brazil. I would love to see you. Yeah, maybe. Big world out there. Yeah, uh, same again. And the drink's no good in your own bar. Wow, I was just hoping that uh, Carol would come in. The ring is really beautiful, Bob. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's done. Give it to us so we can make a wish. Oh! <laughs> now, which way do I turn it? Towards your heart. But you have to wish for true love. Ooh. <laughs> I think it's my You look beautiful. You think that you can buy your way back into my bed? <laughs> I have. You can't afford it. Let's get this party started. Oh, fantastic. Good glass. The story continues at 8 o'clock on Tuesday. Well, over on RT2 at 9.30, the Sunday League reviews hurling and football fixtures from around the country. At the same time, here on RT1, two brothers at odds in our drama striking out. News just after nine is next.